I'm going to loosely block out the objects. And again, I'm sorry, the video is on lag. It lags when I record, okay? So looking at my banana rama, uh, banana, I keep calling it banana rama, my banana grams, um, that is the largest thing and most dominant thing in my still life. So I'm going to actually draw that. And it's okay if you draw things too large and you can't get the whole thing on here. And knowing that my bunny up there is at the top, I need to make sure he is in my um, on my page too, at least part of it. I don't need the whole thing there, but I need to see at least part of it. Okay, so I'm gonna start by kind of just blocking out my banana grams game. And I'm, when I'm drawing, I am following the contours, these are called contours, the contours of the edges of my object, okay? I'm not adding in detail, I'm drawing super, super light. Okay, I'm drawing super light so that um, I can slowly add in what I need to later. You also notice I am holding my pencil in a different angle so that I'm not, if I'm holding it like this, like I would when I'm writing, I'm gonna press a lot harder. But if I change how I hold my pencil, which is the soft grip, then um, I won't press so hard and I'll be able to get some soft sketch lines. These are called sketch lines. Okay, so there's my funny looking banana. It doesn't look like much yet, but once I start adding in details, I have a zipper. Okay, I'm gonna start thinking about um, perspective and how things work together. Okay, so I'm starting to build in. So now I need to draw the bunny. And so now I gotta look at my fabric. And again, I'm following the contours or the shapes of part of the fabric. I'm not adding in any value right now. I'm just getting the perspective correctly, the size correct, and the shape of the fabric. Okay, if you think you can sit down and get this whole thing done in 20 minutes, you're not gonna have a very interesting still life. Well, it might be interesting. It's not gonna look like your object. Now, I'm not expecting it to be 100% um, super hyper realistic, right? You could still have a, a, um, a nice drawing without it being 100% realistic, right? Maybe it's going to reference. I need to see the reference of the actual objects you're drawing, right? So a couple of things. I'm not drawing details. I'm just filling in the lines and the contours. I'll point here. The lines and the contours of the fabric. Now, if you're not you feel like you're not super good at drawing, you don't have to draw every single little detail. All right, I'm gonna look at my shadows. I have two shadows here. Okay, I have another. All right, so there's the sketch of my, of my steel life. Okay, so there's the basic ideas. This is when I can figure out if um, the drawing itself is big enough, if like I think the angle of my uh, banana grams is not right, so I'm gonna make this side a little bit fatter. And it's okay if it goes off my page. There's a little loop here. And then and that looks much better. You also notice I haven't erased anything yet. 
And then I can make this in a different angle. All right, so you wanna slowly build in your value and not try to get everything done right away. This needs to be taller. All right, so now I'm gonna focus in on the banana Bananagrams game. Does anybody know what Bananarama is? And why I keep saying it? Anyone? Attack myself. It is a, um, a musical group from the 80s, and that's why I keep saying Bananarama. All right, so now I can start, you see I'm holding my pencil a little differently because I'm starting to draw a little darker and I'm going to start drawing in more of the actual details of my objects. What I don't want to see is this. What's the difference between this really badly drawing? Hold on, I'll let it catch up. Wow, it's really lagging. All right, what I just drew was super dark, thick lines. Um, I'll just repeat myself for the recording. This is not, this is what I don't wanna see, what you see right now. These super dark, thick outlines of my object. You also see that um, they're kind of scratchy. It's okay drawing it super light scratchy, but not dark scratchy, okay? Because I can't erase these. These lines will always be there, right? Yes, it kind of looks like the object on my still life, but this is super dark outlines and you're not gonna be able to erase them. So if you don't like your lines, you can't erase them. They're always going to be there. Okay. Now I can get like the idea here, but I don't want to see outlines and then see you start to, to shade it in. Okay. In real life, our objects don't have outlines. In real life, our objects are, they have edges based on light and shadow. Okay, so how the light fa falls on an object, that creates the line, but it's not a real line, it's not a cartoon. 